Our fear of going to China was very, very strong because our father wanted to send us back as young children so that we could get some Chinese values and, uh, uh, and be more Chinese than we are Muslim. And it was always that fear which played into our adult lives where we would not go to, I know I would not go to China. And, and when my Uncle Tommy said, I, uh, I don't get a pension until I'm 75 or 80 because that's what my papers say. Uh, he came in uh, and he was older than what his papers say and, and he would not correct any of that. And uh, boom, that fear was instilled in us and, uh, and I couldn't go. But when Uncle Edmund said, let's go, uh, you gotta go. The way we went. And that is one of the most emotional times in my life. I did not have this emotion when our dad passed away. I'd never had this emotion when our mother passed away. But when we walked into that village through that gateway and our relatives were there and, I, uh, and our, our uncle that's alive in China uh, just sort of blew me away. Uh, in my mind, he was the spitting image of Uncle Tommy. It was like Uncle Tommy rose out of the grave to greet us. And that was just, uh, I could have just sat down and cried. Uh, and, uh, I've never had that emotion before. Uh, and just to see the relatives that were left behind uh, and that were part of our life. So I just want to say thank you to the Canadian Chinese Historical Society, Henry, for kickstarting us. And thank you to everyone that took the time to be here this evening to honor us. And that's a real, really big honor in our community to be, to be stood up. Not my girlfriend, but... <laughs> <laughs> To, to stand you up and lift you up and hold you up in front of your community and your relationships. Uh, uh, so I want to say thank you. I truly, truly appreciate what's happened this evening. I step out the evening. See you See you tall. See you tall. Could not see. Finish Kuala Couldn't see. See you tall. Hi, Tampa. Go, Tampa.